Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send all your data through the Tor network on your Android. Now to get the Tor network up and running on your Android, we're going to be installing three programs. The three are Orwall, Orbot, and Orweb. The, the link to all three apps can be found over at the Full Guide and Gadget Hacks. So be, for, be sure to check that out. And now since they're all going to be installed through APKs, you will need to have unknown sources enabled through your security settings. And all three of these apps do require root access. You will need to root your device before installing any of them. Now, I already have them all installed on my device. So the first up, we're going to be going over Orwall. Now, when you first open it, you will need to grant it super easy permission and go through a brief setup wizard. But all the, you just keep all the settings to the default value and you'll be all set to go. Now, once you first boot up, you will need to reboot your device in order for the service to properly be running because you do need to have it run a script when your device is booting in order for the background process to run properly. Now, after you have it enabled, you go ahead and go to the app section and select which apps you want to have Tor handle all their data. So, I, you could go ahead and enable all of them. And after that, they will begin using Tor automatically. Now that's about it for Orwall. Once you have the app selected, it will automatically start pushing that data. But next up, you will need to install Orbot. And now this will actually allow the connection to Tor to happen. Now, again, this does also require root. So you will need to grant a super easy permission the first time you start it up and go through a setup wizard. But again, it is very simple. And all you have to do is keep pressing next until you get to the main screen. Now, once you get there, you will be able to press and hold the power button to enable Tor. You can see here that I already have the connection active and it'll give me a download and upload speed so I can monitor my data. And if at any time you need to change your IP address to something different or another different identity on the Tor network, all you have to do is slide across the screen. It'll spin and you'll be granted a new IP address. Or bot allows you to actually connect to the Tor network and it will automatically configure apps to push the data to the Tor network. So with Orwall and Orbot enabled, you will get complete anonymity by pushing all your app's data through the Tor network and around the world through their different nodes. Now to actually browse the internet using the Tor network, I suggest using Orweb because it is designed specifically to work with Orbot because they are developed by the same developers over at the Guardian project. And right at the beginning, you will be able to see a success message saying that you are connected to the Tor network. And you can also see your IP address. Now, if you go back into Orbot, you slide the logo and then you go back to it and refresh the page. You will see a new IP address and you will have a new identity. So you can go ahead and make sure that you are completely anonymous while you are online. And just as a heads up, you will notice a slight decrease in your speed, and that is because your data is being pushed around the world through the Tor network. So you will notice a slight drop, but don't worry, that is completely normal. Do not panic and think that your data is being compromised in any way. All right, guys, and do it for this video. For a breakdown of each of these apps, along with their download links, be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.